Hi friends, in previous lecture we discussed the electrophilic substitution reaction of aromatic amines. That means when electron donating group, that means NH2 group is present, at that time the reaction takes place at ortho and para position. And when this aniline is strongly heated in presence of acidic condition, it gets protonated and deactivate the ortho and para position and reaction take place at the meta position. That means simply electron withdrawing group is present at that time the reaction take place at the meta position. Now in today's lecture we will start the remaining part of amines and diazonium salts. First electrophilic substitution reaction that is halogenation. Friends, the halogenation uh, with chlorine that means Cl2 or Br2 uh, is extremely rapid reaction uh, can take place even at the room temperature. That means when chloride or bromine, bromine water is added to aniline, is added to aniline, a white precipitates of 2, 4, 6 trichloro or 246 tribromoaniline is formed immediately due to a strong activating NH2 group. First, we will take the example here. This is the aniline and this aniline is on treatment with BrO2. So, here aniline is a electron activating group or the electron activating group or electron donating group. Therefore, reaction takes place at the ortho and the para position. But this aniline is a strongly activating group. And if we use the 3 moles of Br2, here we get the, the reaction take place at the, this ortho and para position. And here we get the 2, 4, 6 because if we start the numbering here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. That means 2, 4, 6, 3 bromine therefore tribromo aniline. Okay, that means here aniline is on treatment with the Br2 or Cl2, here we get the this one, this type of the product. That means here Br2, here we get the 246 tribromoaniline, and if we react aniline with the chlorine, that means Cl2, here we get the 246 trichloroaniline. Okay. Now uh, the reaction can be controlled. This is the uncontrollable reaction. That means here we get the poly uh, halogenated products. Okay. That means the reaction can be controlled. Uh, if the activation of NH2 group is decreased uh, by converting it into the acetyl derivatives. So, how this, this is possible? So, how see here this reaction here aniline and this is aniline is on treatment with the acetic anhydride. This is the structure of acetic anhydride CH3 C double bond O C double bond O CH3 plus H2O here. The nitrogen carrying lone pair is still attack on this carbonyl carbon. Now then here this bond will be relocalized and this goes here. There is cleavage of this one and here we get the NHC double bond O CH3. Okay. And this NHCO CH3 group is weakly activating groups. This NHCO CH3 group is weakly activating groups uh, and the reaction only occurs at the ortho and the para position. This NH that means this acetanilide group is a weakly activating group therefore reaction take place at the ortho and para position. Here next part here this one it undergo the this acetyl derivative it undergo the treatment with Br2 here we get the major product that means here the para uh, is a major product and here ortho is a minor product because uh, the ortho is a minor product due to the steric interaction of these um, NHCOCH3 groups. The acetyl groups is can be conveniently removed by the hydrolysis. That means this group is removed by the hydrolysis. Okay. That means this reaction here, this NHCOCH3 group, it can be removed by hydrolysis. It undergo the hydrolysis. Here we get the NH2. That means this H3 plus that means this OH minus it will be directly attack on this carbonyl carbon. This will be delocalized here and there is cleavage of this one, this bond. Here we get the NH2. Okay. That means in halogenation, here we have to remember that 
some tricks that means first trick is that here if you take starting material is aniline it undergoes the bromination or chlorination we get the poly halogenated product okay that means if we use br2 we get the 246 tribromoaniline if we use chlorine we get the 246 trichloroaniline now then that means this is uncontrollable reaction and this reaction is controlled by using a simple way the aniline is on treatment with the acetic anhydride we get the acetyl derivatives here we get the acetyl derivatives now then this acetyl derivative that means this nhcoch 3 group is weakly activating group therefore reaction take place at the ortho and the para position here the para is the major as compared to the ortho because due to it having some steric hindrance okay now the next uh, sulfonation that means the sulfonation of amines the sulfonation of amine if take place is on heating with the fuming sulfuric acids uh, it gets uh, sulfonated uh, to give para amino benzene sulfonic acid the formations of para amino benzene sulfonic acid also it is called as the sulfanilic acids that means here this aniline is on treatment with H2SO4, fuming H2SO4 at 180 degrees Celsius and here we get the there is addition of this SO3H groups. Here NH2 group is activating group therefore reaction take place at the para position therefore here the SO3H group is added as the para position it is the major product and name of this compound it is the sulfanilic acid that means aniline it undergoes the sulfonation we get the sulfanilic acid. Here the simple mechanism is that that means aniline plus H2SO4 here at that time the final product is the SO3H is added at the para position with respect to this NH2 groups okay this is about the sulfonation. Now the next nitration friends we know that for nitration we use concentrated HNO3 and concentrated H2SO4. By using concentrated HNO3 and concentrated H2SO4, we get the nitronium ion. Here, the aniline uh, on reaction with nitrating mixture, that is the mixture of a concentrated nitric acids and concentrated sulfuric acid having 1 as to 1 ratio. Here, the nitric acid is being protic acids and it protonates the amino group uh, to give anilium ion. That means, that means C6 5 NH3 plus and here uh, the aromatic thing is deactivated and the incoming nitronium ion that is NO2 plus is directed at the meta position to give meta nitro aniline. That means here the simple reaction here H2SO4 plus HNO3 here we get the nitronium ion that means H2SO4 plus HNO3 here we get the nitronium ion. Now, that means here the aniline on treatment with the nitrating it undergoes the nitration by using concentrated H2SO4 and concentrated HNO3. Here we get the anilium ion. This, this is anilium ion. That means friends when you use the concentrated H2SO4 and concentrated HNO3 it is a strongly acidic medium strongly acidic medium and you know that if the aniline is heated strongly in acidic medium at that time it undergoes the protonation first it undergoes the protonation that's why here we get the protonation now then in next stage when this protonation of the anilium ion on treatment with the again the nitrating mixture that is concentrated H2SO4 and HNO3 at that time this is the electron withdrawing group that in H3 plus that means here electron withdrawing group therefore the reaction take place at the meta position now the next uh, the aqueous workup is there when on treatment with aqueous NaOH here it will be converted into here NH2 and here finally we get the yum nitro aniline in yum nitro aniline so friend in exam the question asks conversion of aniline here this aniline to yum nitro aniline so how in first step this aniline is on treatment with the strongly acidic medium that means here by using concentrated H2SO4 and concentrated HNO3 is a strongly acidic medium therefore first protonation take place and this is anilium ion is a deactivate the aromatic ring therefore the incoming NO2 group is added at the 
meta position and here next work up here will be converted into NH2 and here finally we get the M nitro aniline. Friend, the secondary and tertiary amine is also direct the incoming nucleophile at the meta position for uh, the above mentioned reason. Okay. Now then here that means here the protonated amines okay, and it undergo the addition of this electrophile here this is the electron withdrawing nature therefore reaction take place or the addition of this electrophile is take place at the meta position that means uh, if we take secondary and tertiary amine and on treatment with the, the incoming electrophile at meta position for the above mentioned reason simply the quaternary ammonium salts also direct the incoming nucleophile at meta position for the this same reason okay That means here the simple reaction is there. Here this is again a secondary amine. Uh, secondary amine it undergo the the reaction with this electrophiles. Okay. Now then here we get the addition of these electrophiles take place at the meta position. Okay. And if we pre prepare the acetyl derivatives, suppose if we prepare the acetyl derivative, the protonation does not occur. That means if we prepare the acetyl derivative, the protonation does not occur and we get the reaction at ortho and para position. Uh, the para product having the major and this acetyl derivative of aniline is obtained by reacting with the acetic anhydride. That means here in first step here this is the aniline and this is aniline is on treatment with the acetic anhydride CH3 C double bond O O C double bond O CH3 is acetic anhydride first it will be converted into this acetanilides acetyl derivatives that means here nitrogen carrying lone pair it will attack on this carbonyl carbon and departure of this remaining part here we get the NH C double bond O CH3 that means we get the acetyl derivative first aniline is converted into aniline derivative acetylene derivatives okay and this acetyl derivative it undergoes the nitration here the further protonation is not take place here the reaction take place at the ortho and the para position here the two products are given this is the para and this is ortho that means the ortho here para is a major and this is ortho as a minor product now uh, the acetyl group can be conveniently removed that means this group nh c double bond or ch3 group it removed by hydrolysis and we get the Para nitro and lin as the product. That means this NH C double bond or CH3 group is removed by using hydrolysis. Here the NH CO CH3 it become NH2 and here we get the para nitro aniline as the final product. Okay. This is about a simple reaction of nitration. So friend, never miss a video subscribe to my youtube channel in this lecture uh, we discuss halogenation sulfonation nitration and their conversion into the acetyl derivatives okay thank you